Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Beige. If you are new here, welcome. Be sure to hit that subscribe button down below as well as turn on the post notification bell also down below for my channel to be notified of all of my future uploads. So the wig that we will be working with today is a wig that I made out of bundles and a frontal that were sent to me from clayhair.com. Clay sent me three bundles of Brazilian straight 16 inch hair as well as one 13 by four Brazilian straight frontal in 16 inches as well. Okay, so I'm gonna start off by bleaching this hair first. I'm gonna grab an empty mixing bowl. I'm gonna pour my 20 volume cream developer into the mixing bowl, and then I'm going to add a few scoops of that BW powder lightener bleach into the cream developer, and then I'm going to begin to stir it using my whisk, and then I'm going to apply it to the wig. Because we are going for a midnight navy dark blue hair color, we do not have to worry about leaving the bleach on for an extended period of time. So I did end up rinsing the bleach out and shampooing the hair with neutralizing shampoo after about 25 to 30 minutes and this is the result. The frontal portion of this wig did lift to a higher level which most um, frontals do lift higher than the rest of the wefted hair and because this is lifted to a higher level of blonde when I put the hair dye over it it will be a brighter blue in the front portion of this wig. All right, so for the hair color, I am going to create a custom color. So I will be using Sapphire Blue by Joyco, Color Intensity Semi-Permanent Hair Dye, as well as True Blue also by Joyco, and I will be mixing the colors together. I picked up four tubes of the Sapphire Blue because it is a darker color, and then I mixed it in with the lighter blue, which is True Blue. So I'm just going to squeeze all of the contents from each tube into my mixing bowl and check to see if I like the color by just touching it with my glove and it will show me the color that the hair is going to turn. So I'm just going to mess around with the colors until I get the perfect shade that I'm going for. I didn't use the entire two tubes of the um, True Blue. I think I just used one and a half of those tubes but I did end up using the entire four tubes of the Sapphire Blue hair color. So this is how the wig looks after being blow dried. I am going to work in really small sections and take my time applying and fully saturating each section of hair with this hair dye. When I get to the frontal portion, as you can see here, I am just gonna take my time in smaller sections and fully coat each section. Okay, so I ended up trying something new. I got a comment by a subscriber suggesting that I try the Got To Be Ultra Glued Gel method for applying dye to your lace frontals. And apparently with this new method, you apply very thick layers of Got To Be on the underside of your frontal and then you blow dry it until it creates a hard surface or barrier. And basically that Got To Be is supposed to stop your dye from penetrating or dyeing the lace because it creates like this hard barrier, right? And unfortunately, I was being very sloppy with this method of applying the dye because I'm like, okay, it's gonna save me. The gossipy is a barrier between the hair strands and the lace. So even if I have a mishap and I accidentally put dye on the actual lace, it won't dye it, supposedly. So I was thinking that in my mind and you know, I wasn't doing the most careful application of applying this dye to the frontal and after I rinsed it out the got to be it did absolutely nothing it I had so many blue stains on my frontal so I do not suggest that usually when I apply dye to lace frontals I do not have that issue but it was way more blue stains on the frontal than I was anticipating or hoping for or even it's expecting so yeah that that method was a flop it did not work for me at all I knew that I wanted to do a bob with this wig, but I did not know how long I wanted the bob to be. So I am not gonna focus that hair color on the ends of the hair strands. I'm just gonna focus it like, you know, midway through the wig because I don't really care about the ends. I know that the ends will be cut off anyway. Thank you. 
All right, so we are all done. I am going to leave this hair dye on this wig for a total of six hours. Then we're gonna rinse, shampoo, and deep condition this wig. After that, I'm going to blow dry this wig and we are gonna get started with this haircut. Okay, so let's jump right into this haircut. I am so scissor obsessed and so scissor happy. I just wanna cut everything. If you look at any of the tutorials that I do on my channel, most of the time I'm cutting something. So I'm gonna start off by just doing an asymmetrical cut and then I'm gonna cut it shorter from there. So this haircut is a little bit complex because it's shorter in the back, longer in the front. One side of the wig is shorter than the other side and then I have really heavy, feathered layers on the longer side of this wig. And I'm just so obsessed with the way that it came out. It came out perfect. It took me a good two and a half to three hours to perfect this wig because it's so precise. And when I start cutting bobs, I'm like so in tune <laughs> to the wig, like it's crazy. I did use the scissors that I always use, which are these shears that I picked up from Sally's Beauty Supply Store. And I love them so much. I do not cut any hair, any bob, or anything like that without these scissors. These are my number one go-to shears. So now I'm gonna grab this product by L'Oreal. It is their Sleek It Iron Straight Heat Spray. And I'm going to spray the hair with this hairspray and then it's kind of like a heat protectant and it's supposed to leave the hair sleek and smooth and shiny um, for a total of three days. So I'm gonna grab this hairspray, spray the hair with this hairspray and then in small sections, I'm going to begin flat ironing this wig. And this is the final look. I am so obsessed with this hair color and this haircut. I really do like the fact that the bundles from Clay were really, really thick and I got the perfect density that I was going for. I'll have all of their links down below in the description box so you can check out if you are interested. Thank you so much for watching. As always, my name is Beige. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below as well as turn on the post notification bell also down below for my channel to be notified of all of my future uploads. And let me know down below in the comment section how you feel about this haircut, this hair color, and let me know what hair colors you want to see me in next. And I We'll hope to see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.